going to make a microwave for our doll loft apartment. Using foam board, a printable from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, scrapbook paper, tape, clear plastic from packaging, a toothpick, glow-in-the-dark glue, a glue stick, and hot glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. On the foam board, I start by drawing a two inch by two and a half inch rectangle. Carefully cut it out, use it as a guide to draw and cut out five more so we have a total of six. Pick one of the rectangles to be the front door and another one to be the top. Place the door onto the edge of the top Draw a line, draw another small line on the end to make a notch. Cut on the line drawn, but leave the small notch. Take a third rectangle, place the top on top, trace the cutout, then cut it out so you have two, one for the top and one for the bottom. Take the door, draw the notch for the top corner and the bottom, carefully cut them out, take a toothpick Cut it in half, line the door up with the top notch, then push the toothpick through the notch on the top. It may help to use a pin first to make the hole, then use the toothpick. Repeat for the bottom, then take them out and set it aside. Take two more rectangles, cut them down to be two inch by two inch squares. Take the top and bottom, stack them together, and line them up at the top edge. Draw a line, take the front door, line it up on the side, and draw another line. Cut on the line drawn to make a piece that fits flush on the side. Repeat to make two, and now we have all of the pieces for the outside of our microwave. I apply glow-in-the-dark glue to a piece of cardstock, brush it on, for an even coat, then allow it to dry. Once dried, trace the top of the microwave, cut it out so that it's just a little bit smaller. I use a glue stick and glue it underneath the top. Take the front door, cut out a control panel, glue it onto the side, cut a window out of the front, take clear tape, carefully place it on top, trim off the excess, you have to be really careful not to touch the sticky side of the tape or you'll end up with a small smudge on your window. Flip it over and place another piece of tape on the other side so the sticky side is closed up on the inside. Cut a circle of clear plastic from packaging. I'm gonna add small drops of glue under the plastic to give it a little lift. Now we can start to assemble. Glue the top onto our last rectangle, then glue in the sides, making sure they are the right direction. Glue on the bottom, place the door between the notches, add the toothpicks to attach the door. Place the tray inside to make a microwave that has a green glow. I'm gonna add a circle of foil scrapbook paper to just help bounce off that light so you can see the glow from the bottom as well. To give the microwave a little more detail, cut scrapbook paper, glue it to the sides, top, then a piece going across the front to give it a polished look. Make them in different colors to fit your kitchen design. We can place it on the counter in our loft apartment or on the mini fridge so our dolls can enjoy a warm meal. Thank you for joining us while we made our doll microwave. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting. We can never go back this road. We can never go back that way. I see you standing in the corner like it's okay. Don't you know that you move with your body? We want to give a shout out to Ariana Lewis. What's up? Here, Gabby.
I thought you could use this so you don't have to have those sad little pizzas anymore. Anna, you got me a microwave? Wow, little sis, you do care. Yeah, okay, whatever. Don't tell anyone.